Okay, bud. We have over 30 books across 10 series we're trying to finish this year. We're going to read the first four books this week. Does that sound like a plan? In case you missed that video, I'll link it below, but I had 10 different series that were in progression, so I'd read part of them, but not all of them, and I want to try and finish those in 2023. I have the books I need to finish the first three of those series, and we're going to read them this week. Now, the reason why I chose to do these three together is because each series just has one book left in it, plus one of them has a novella, so this is kind of like a catch-up vlog, but it'll be nice to knock three of the ten series out of the list in March. So let me show you what we're going to read in the vlog. The first book is First Comes Like by Alicia Ray. Now this is in her Modern Love series. I adored the other two. So this is a book that I'm pretty sure came out after I read those two. That's why I missed it. So we're going to start with this one. I checked it out like six weeks ago. It's just been sitting on my TBR cart. I am so excited to read this. The second book is Well Traveled. This is in the Well Met series by Jen DeLuca. So a funny story about this series. It takes place during a renaissance fair and I read the first one for a Gilmore Girl themed readathon I did back in 2020 because it was for Liz and TJ. If you know this show, you know they like to travel renaissance fairs. So I read the book and I initially was like, I don't think I liked it. And then I continued to think about the characters. So then I was like, all right, I guess I'll pick up the second one. And then I liked that one too. So then I picked up the third one and I was like, okay, I actually think I like the series. So this is the fourth one. We'll see if it's as good as the others. The last book we're going to read is No Words by Meg Cabot. So this is the Little Bridge Island series. I absolutely loved the first book in the series. The second one was pretty good and then I was excited to read this and I actually got it to read in the summer because it looked very summery to me but when I opened it up it actually starts in the winter and I'm the kind of person that adjusts books based on time of year. I actually meant to read this in January. We're just now getting to it. But we're going to read this one, and then the novella that I have goes with it. It's called Bridal Boot Camp, so I don't think it's necessarily in the series, but it's like a companion to the series, and it's 96 pages, so I figured we would just get that in as well. So we're going to read these three books across the week. Hope you guys are excited for what should be like a fun, lighthearted reading vlog. Sorry the lighting's going to be a little off in this clip. Every afternoon when I can, when my schedule allows, I try and come into here. Sorry the lighting's going to be off a little bit. It's just because I've got the blinds open, but where you guys are set up. But my husband is going to be home in about five minutes. So one of our favorite things to do is come and the driveway is right below this window. So we wait for him and then we say hi out the window. So I thought while we're waiting, we have Hobo, we have Buster. They're kind of becoming friends. I thought we could start the first book of the reading vlog and just wait for him to get home. Good job, guys. You guys are doing a good job together. It's a work in progress. update so I started first comes like and I am really enjoying it but I'm gonna pause it for my vlogs I love when I can find the book in audio or ebook form so that way I can go back and forth because I read often 
on my Kindle in the hot tub or in bed, and then I listen to audios when I'm walking Buster, and I was able to find both of these as ebooks. So we're gonna save them because I have an ARC ebook I'm reading now. So I'm gonna go ahead and do Well Traveled instead while I finish that ARC, and then we'll go back to the other book. So that's why you saw me reading this one, but we're gonna switch to this one. Also, we're gonna open a package I got. This is from Ashley Nicole Reads. I ordered two stickers from my TBR cart and two bookmarks. So I figured we could open that together so pretty pink packaging romance mail sticker as always i'm filming a tiktok at the same time so you'll see pauses while i go back and forth but let me show you what i got these are absolutely beautiful so she does a lot of photo collage bookmarks which is super cool but i have not read most of the books she made the photo collages for and for the ones i did read i read them on kindle so i wanted a little bit more of her generic ones for my bookmarks for my books and I love the two that I picked out. So the first one is absolutely gorgeous. It's got these watercolor flowers. It's her tropes bookmark. So it says friends to lovers, age gap, enemies to lovers, grumpy sunshine, and second chance, which are all tropes that I enjoy. And it's got this really pretty pink tassel. That's gorgeous. And then if you haven't figured it out by now, my favorite color is teal by far. So she has four different colors my color included and it says good girls read dirty books with a teal tassel these are so pretty i am so excited to have them like i said the other thing i got were some stickers for my tbr cart so oh she's got this cute thank you for your order oh it says nicole thank you so much i hope you love your new goodies happy reading ashley and then we've got our stickers i'm so excited about these i had a hard time picking I'm probably gonna place another order with her to be honest but the two I got was a very thin one which I thought would be great because the book cart sometimes doesn't have a ton of space and it says probably reading a small town romance and then I had to explain this to my husband and once I explained it he was like oh my <laughs> crawl to me club and it's got these hearts coming out of a book these are gonna be so cute so maybe we'll put these on the TBR cart a little bit later but I am so, so excited about this order, and I'll be sure to link her Etsy shop down below in case you're interested, and like I said, check out her photo collage bookmarks because those are gorgeous as well, and she does a lot of like really popular romance, so you'll probably find one that you like if you're into the same kind of books we are. I don't typically read in bed for long periods of time, but we just got a king bed that's adjustable. We've had it for like five days, and guys, I'm obsessed. Are you ready? Buster, are you ready? Oh my God, I love it so much. So just getting in position. He's still a little unsure that the bed moves, but we're gonna start well matched. It's like, I know buddy, everything is okay. See, I got my dog cause my Valentine night gown on for you. Uh, we're gonna start well matched, read it for like, it's like 8.18, so maybe like 30 minutes and I'll switch to my Kindle book and check in with you guys in the morning. My husband and I are part of a beer club at a local wine and beer shop and so we go every other Thursday for a beer tasting and I sometimes work late at my center so on those days I swing by, pick him up, we go drink beer and then we come home and go straight to sleep. Last time we did that, Hobo felt really left out that I didn't come hang out with her after work. So this time around, even though I tend to go to bed around like 9.15, I'm going to stay up late, <laughs> late, I'm going to stay up to like 10 or 10.30 and read while traveled a little bit more and just hang out with her so she doesn't feel so left alone. And this happened to me the last time I read a book in this series. They talk about cider so much that it made me crave it so bad. So this time I got some cider cold. So I have a very cinnamon cider. I'm gonna read this for a while and just spend some quality time with her. Also, it's super dark in my husband's office. So I had to pull out a book light. My office is super bright and airy, but she likes it in here. Sorry guys, she likes it in here, so we're gonna be flexible.
I wanted to give you guys a quick update. I did finish Well Traveled and I really liked it, but I'll give a review of all the books at the end of the vlog. But I'm gonna switch back to First Comes Like. So I had started this book. I'm on chapter four, not too far in. And then I ended up checking out the ebook version and the audiobook version. Now, typically I'm reading a different book for each of those versions, but I don't want to have to film this vlog over like more than a week because that'll be a lot to edit. So I'm gonna just switch and read this book across all formats. So obviously I'm in my bathing suit. I'm gonna go get in the hot tub and pick up with chapter four on the ebook right now. It's funny because throughout this whole vlog, I just kept saying, I want to get these books done. I want to get these books done. I don't want to film for more than a week, but it is now Friday, March 17th, and I'm just picking up with the vlog again because I had two arcs due, so I took a pause in the vlog, and I think part of the problem was, unfortunately, I did not love this book as much as the others. It wasn't bad, and we'll talk about it at the end, but I kind of drug a little bit, and so I just wasn't picking it up. But now that those arcs are done and this book is done, I can dive back into this vlog with the last book, plus a novella, No Words. So I'm really excited for this one because I actually had already checked it out and started it, but then decided to save it. So I really would like to finish this this weekend, and I'm just going to start it now. So I did get the physical copy. I did get the ebook and I got that through Libby through my library and I did get the audiobook through Hoopla. So we will read, read, listen, try and get it done and then give you guys a recap of all of the books I read for this vlog. I finished No Words this morning and I was excited because I thought this vlog was done because I'm going to start a new one tonight and then I remembered I had the novella, but it's only 96 pages. It's the Bridal Boot Camp and I think I can get through it today. I do have a work meeting that I need to leave for. It's like 6.45 right now and I don't need to leave for it until 10. So I'm going to try and read maybe like half of this now and then maybe the other half when I come home from my meeting, but we'll finally wrap this vlog up tonight. The novella was really short. I actually got it read in about 30 minutes. So I finally finished the vlog. Let's do a recap of all the books that I read. The first one was Well Traveled by Jen DeLuca. I really loved this book and I love this series. So the entire series takes place in a Renaissance fair setting and in all of the books, it's taking place specifically during the summer. So this whole series screams summer to me. So if you're looking for a nice 
little series, four books, and they talk about hard cider a lot, so if you like hard cider, it's gonna make you want one, so I definitely recommend picking up a couple to enjoy, but they're just such fun stories, and they are interconnected, so while you could read them out of order, I think it's more fun if you start with the first book, because then you meet characters that continue to develop through the books, so this one was great. The second book I read was First Comes Like, and I loved the other two books in the series. It's the Modern Love series, The Right Swipe and Girl Gone Viral. This one felt a little flat for me. So I will say this book talks about arranged marriage. It's not an arranged marriage, but they both come from cultures that have that. And so I think that kind of fed into this whole storyline of I just didn't see a lot of like intense romance or passion. It just kind of felt more like they're like, okay, like I guess... I guess we're in a relationship now. Um, there is a whole like they meet all nine kind of catfishing but not really storyline but I just at the end it just felt so like anticlimactic like I was like really that's it? So it felt a little flat. I still did like it and I loved the series overall. The third book I read was No Words by Meg Cabot and this is in the Little Bridge Island series. Meg Cabot lives in Key West, Florida, and she based this fake island off of Key West. So even though this book takes place in January, the whole series gives me summery vibes again. So if you're looking for another series to read in the summer, this would be a great pick. And what I love about this book is it actually takes place at a book festival. So it's a bunch of authors, and then the main two characters are authors. And there's just something about a book about a book that just feels right. Like, you're reading a book about people that love books, and you're like, I love books, that's why I'm reading this book. So, highly recommend this series, except you could probably skip the novella. Let's talk about that. This is a novella, it's Bridal Boot Camp, and when I went back and looked, this came out first, and so I think this was her just kind of like setting up the town that the other books take place in and introducing some of the like restaurants and stuff that are mentioned. So I do understand why she wrote it, but it just felt pointless. Like, I don't, I, I don't even remember the characters. Like, I didn't care about them. It was so short, a little spicy, but so short that I don't think it's necessary to read this. I think you can just start with the first book and you'll get everything you need. So it doesn't hurt to read this one, but I wouldn't waste your time, but definitely recommend this series. And with that, we have finished the first three series in the series I want to finish in 2023. So I'll link that video down below, but I had 10 series that I had already started that I wanted to finish this year, and these are the books I needed to finish the first three of them, so three out of 10 in March. That's pretty good, and I hope you guys got some good recommendations from these, and we'll definitely be doing a lot more series-related vlogs, so I hope you like this style, and I'll catch you in the next one.